Well, hello everybody. This is just a quick video filming machining a pistol grip handle for my video camera. You can, of course, buy these for like 10 bucks or whatever, but what fun is that, right? I've got some scrap, I've got some machine tools, and it's only going to take me about 10 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. My old video camera was a Kodak ZI8, and it was very comfortable to hold, especially shooting and moving around. The new one, my Panasonic, which new, I say, it's probably two years old now. I don't do much offhand shooting, but it's not very comfortable with the strap around here to cock your wrist. And, you know, I'm always pointing in areas and stuff like that. So I'm going to make a pistol grip for it, like I'd said. I was digging through my box of scraps and mistakes and basically where some of my projects go to die. And I'd actually found this little segue here. This was a project, I can't tell you how many years ago this was, that I'd started and never completed. This was going to be for a Steadicam rig. Uh, I'd machined this out. I'd knurled it. I've got a dual bearing setup in here. There's one in each of these. Held in via snap rings. There's a universal joint in the middle. And made custom bushings and the screw comes in from inside the universal joint. I just thought that was interesting to find it buried in my box of stuff. But let's get underway. I've got it chucked up in the lathe and ready to go. So let's see what we can do. All right guys, well I'm going to start by parting this off right here just to clean up the end. Just face off this end here so here we go all right well I've set my compound to 30 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and put a chamfer on this just freehand until I think it looks good carefully and do a little bit of rounding. Alright, well I flipped the work around and now I'm going to do the same 30 degree right here. I'm going to leave this shoulder to give myself a little bit more height. It's just the way it's turning out. Like I said, I'm doing this freehand and we're going to make it happen. So here we go. I think that's a good bite right there. Make sure I'm satisfied with that. Yes, looking good. Get my carriage out of the way. Just going to knock these corners off with a hand file. See what 
that looks like. I believe we've got a winner. All right, well, I need to turn this stub right here down to a quarter inch, so I'm just going to come in and touch off. There's my touch off. I'm going to set it about 5,000 before zero and bring it up to zero. There it is. I'm just going to come in here and feed this by hand. Looks pretty good. Now I'll take a measurement. I've got my caliper zeroed to a quarter inch. So it looks like I need to take off a hundred and eighty two thousandths. Yes, a hundred and eighty two. So since this is aluminum, I'm going to go ahead and take a hundred off right now. There's my hundred. Just feeding by hand. spring cut here. Again, just feeding by hand. Bring that out and take a new measurement. So I'm at 81 and a half. No, 82. 82. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up to 80 right now. Right there and I'll do another little skim here and see if we're close. Take it out of ways and do a little spring pass here. Check this real quick and see where we're at. That's on the money right there. Dead on zero. So I'll come in and finish this and then I'll spring it back and then I'll feed out. All by hand. Looking good. I'm going to come in here. If I 
it a little bit and then I'll feed this out. A little bit more. There we go. Clear these chips out of the way. I'll come in with a file and break this edge right here. And there we go. All right, well everything's looking good. I'm gonna take a file and chamfer this edge to give myself a lead angle for threading this. So here we go. Looking good. I've got my quarter 20 die set up here. I am going to bring my tailstock up with the chuck just to get this started straight a little bit more. There we go. Lock my tailstock down. I'm going to use a bit of tap magic here and I'm just going to thread this by hand. A little bit of pressure. Get this started. And I'm chasing with the tailstock as I bring this up until I get a bit threaded. It's looking pretty good. At this point I can actually remove my tailstock, get my carriage out of the way, and I will finish this off by hand. Alright, well I've got the threads finished, but I need to come in here and do a small undercut, so here we go. That should work. Alright guys, well there it is. I've done a little bit of filing on here and hit it with some scotch bright just to kind of brighten things up. This is a piece from my original rig, which I use all the time. Just a piece of stainless steel with some knurling on it and I've got a leather washer glued to that. So for now, I'll just put this on here. This is not the correct camera that I'm building this for, but a little demonstration. Pull it up and lock this in. And there we go. It's ready. Alright, well I've got it installed on my Panasonic. I'm just going to do a, a quick pan around here. I can tell already this is so much more comfortable than using the hand strap on the camera. Feels great. Well, like I said in the last clip, that was just a pleasure to use. Just do a final little overview here on how it looks with that particular camera, my Panasonic. Very comfortable, very easy to manipulate. I can turn the wrist now if I want to do panning shots like this as I move. Like I said, I don't do a lot of offhand stuff, but I do do it from time to time because it's just simpler and easier for me than setting up a tripod and doing multiple shots. So, just an idea. Quick and dirty. Very effective. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck.